Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to a mission of Armor Recon. I'm going to do this a little bit differently because with Armor Recon, which I haven't done in a while, I would take a random mission out of the Armor 3 Steam Workshop ready to play it for you. This is not something that is random. I saw that this mission by Tomahawk called Liberty was one of the top missions on Armor 3 right now. And I just had to download it. As you play a number of the top missions and you get to know some of the top creators you'll kind of see what their focus is and tomahawk's one of the guys who really focuses on the environment and making sure that the story just looks gorgeous it seems like at the beginning of this mission that is no different i've been looking forward to a mission like this for a long time which is set on uh the liberty or freedom and you're just trying to either port oh wow that guy got lit up Okay. But yeah, you either are the boarding party trying to take the vessel, or you are trying to stop the boarding party, which is definitely me in this one. You can see we've got some KIA around here as CSAT has ended up boarding the vessel. Not only that, there are three CSAT subs that are out in the ocean. They are responsible for seeking another destroyer for um, actually the Freedom might actually have sunk or is sinking and then of course the liberty that i'm on here i haven't come across any CSAT yet despite the casualties that i'm seeing here there's been gunfire explosions like that likely from a grenade We've got somebody standing right up here in front of us oh yep that's CSAT. you can just tell by the back of his uniform and i think that was a backpacker vest that he was wearing anyway it's pretty obvious that he was CSAT. Who we got down here? Oh, another CSAT. Um, I'll put a couple in him. No time. We got to get moving. The objective is to get to the back of the boat. Oh, I'm taking some fire here. But look, once I pop up, all of this detail that we've got just in the back here. This is the stuff like I was talking about. Tomahawk definitely cares about. And it definitely goes noticed. Anyway, I'm in the middle of a firefight, so I'm just going to drop my head here. Let's see if these guys reload. One more person that I saw with that flashlight. Dropped him. Looks like we are in the clear. Never mind. Taking more fire. Guys coming from the left side. Seems like some of them are in diving gear. So that's likely how they got up on the boat. Okay, we'll move to the objective. Just use this for cover and make sure everything is clear since we saw those two guys come out from nowhere. Very well could be more. This side's clear. We'll move over to the right. Not seeing anybody on the back of the boat either, but off in the distance, you can see the smoke, which is from the Freedom, it looks like. You got a lighthouse there too. Dang, that guy came up out of nowhere. See, this just looks absolutely gorgeous. You got that helicopter that's flying. The lighthouse. Oh, that green flare was a nice touch. This, like, this is a memorable experience in Arma. Just because of how well this has been uh, developed, that the aesthetics, things like that matter. Like, this is the important part of telling a story. Like, I really feel like I am a part of this. And this is an experience I've not had before either, so this is pretty cool. Oh, and that other vessel's taking damage too. Oh, there's two CSAT subs, it looks like, off to port from where the direction I'm facing, starboard of the vessel. What do we got over here? Okay, we've got some gear. It looks like that is... Did it take another hit? I think it did okay so this gear is basically for diving we've got a rebreather got the wetsuit thing is the weapon that I've got here will not work underwater okay we'll attach the rebreather oh what did I just grab okay there we go Got the rebreather on, and let's see what we've got in this box labeled support. 
Perfect. Okay, we've got the weapon that I will need. Also going to put on some diving goggles and who knows. We'll, we'll go with the night vision too. Other than that, looks like I'm good. So let's grab some of the 20 round ammunition for the gun. A backpack because up here we had some first aid kits. I don't know if I necessarily want to grab all of them, but I'll grab a substantial chunk. Looks like I gotta get over to that sunken vessel. There's a place where I could just jump down right here. I could go down the ladder actually. But no, it's cooler this way. We're gonna straight jump into the ocean. Seriously, I had to take one more look. That's just awesome. Okay, we're in. Everything looks like it's working. But we'll get in this boat since it'll be faster. Luckily, it's not too far of a distance. You can see just like 220 meters now. Looks like a buoy in the water over there too. Great aesthetics. Okay, got the save game. Good, back at it. Oh, what's... Oh, that's a sub. All right. We're going hard to starboard here. I'm going to try and catch up with that. I want to see if I can take it. Okay, we can wait. Let's see if we can cut it off. Oh, yeah, there's two guys in there. I don't see two in the back. I could try and cut it off, but I feel like he's just going to ram the boat, and I could just be stuck out here. But look how slow he's going. Okay, we'll drop into the water here a little bit, and... That is how you take a sub. Okay, we'll get into the driver's slot here. We'll turn and submerge going down underneath the boat that I was using earlier. It's still not that far away, 200 meters. It didn't take me too far away from what my original course was. I could probably go a little bit lower. I feel like, here we go. As you say, I feel like there's probably still a little bit popping up over the surface. Oh, look at this sub. That is one CSAT sub sitting in the bottom or underneath the, the surface. I'm friendly, dude. I promise. All right, looking at the screen, we're coming up on our sunken destroyer. Yep, there he is. So I'm gonna stop right here, and then I'm gonna get out and swim towards a couple of the entrances that we have. Like, looks like I probably could go in down there. Yep, see, there's the sub. But we've got another sub up here this little mini sub we'll have to take out I'm coming up from underneath it so I could go unseen kill the driver we'll go up just a little bit more in the other person that's in here but he's dead too All right, so another sub, I guess, if I need it. But we're going to have to go in here. This objective, though, is to try and find confidential papers, like top secret documents that are by a colonel. And this is a really, really cool touch, not only with the lighting, but as you go inside, you can see what Tomahawk has done, placing a lot of debris in here that is just floating around. You have dead NATO soldiers too. This is a cool little touch. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody who I think would be a colonel. Now this was the door that we went through on the Liberty to get to the back of the boat. So we'll kind of go through that to maybe move up. Yep, looks like we're good. Just with all this debris and everything too, I'm probably heading in the right direction. Just went through some blood. All right, 
Haven't come across anybody yet, but it looks like we've got one body up ahead. Oh, here's somebody with a weapon. Oh, did I get him? Come on. Yep, he's dead. Get this reload in. Remember, it's only 20 rounds, so I'll have to make sure I keep as many rounds in there as possible. Can't go up there, but oh, there are the top secret documents literally right in front of my face. We'll grab him. Okay, so we've got the intel. Let's try and get back out of here. Yep, extract is the objective. I would not be surprised, though, as I go back here, if there will be enemy for me to go up against just with one person that I've had to fight. Now, it looks like there's some movement. That could be somebody kicking their fins. You know, I wonder if there is a effective range of this. This might be the first time I've actually ended up using this weapon underwater. And it would make sense that your bullet's going to lose a lot of energy a lot quicker when you're underwater. Okay, popping up. Take another few shots. Okay, he's still up. Maybe I'm hitting something. We'll see, now he's firing at me. There we go. He's dead. Left side looks clear. We'll check right side. Oh, another shot. I guess I didn't see that mini sub that's parked right off of the back. I don't think that that was there before. So maybe that's where these two guys ended up coming from. All right, well, it's mine now. Uh, except for the fact that it's not. I don't think I can get into the driver's slot. Let's go back and see if we could take a look at one of the other subs. That, um, that second one I ended up taking out. Yeah, there's nobody else in there. I mean, I could try and go the 105 meters to get to the next objective. But it'd be nice to have a mini sub just in case I needed to make a quick break for it, or if it provides some extra protection for me as I'm moving up. Okay, can't take that one either. This one that I was driving in, obviously I know I can take this mini sub. Watch, I probably ended up going a longer distance to get to this than it would have been to actually get to the next objective. I'll find out here in just a second. No, it's 167. All right, hard to starboard. Maintain our... Well, actually, we're kind of going up a little bit. We're 12, 13 meters underwater. What is it, level the planes? Is that what you say to hold her steady at, at the depth? Now I'm watching around me, as you notice, I'm keeping my head on a swivel. I'm also taking a look at the screens directly in front of me too to see what might be ahead. Oh, there's some kind of boat right here. Remember, this is to extract. We'll pop up. Okay, this is a NATO boat just sitting out here. So I will stop, get out. Why have I ragdolled? Seriously, I can't move right now. Man, this is going to be frustrating if this is the part that I have to go ahead and end the mission at. Because of no other reason than I just got armored right here. Just go to the bottom, maybe? See, I'm just straight sinking. It's a good thing I have, like, my rebreather and everything. If this was just me in normal gear, I would have drowned. All right, I think I'm okay. I've got my weapon out. Oh, it was making me stand up. As if I wasn't underwater. But anyway, we're going to get underneath the speedboat. 
since I know that this is friendly. We'll turn on the NVGs Just because I haven't used the NVGs really yet, but we'll be fine above, above the surface here. Gotta find the spot where I'm supposed to load in at. Awesome, there we go. Okay, so this was what a pretty quick mission. We're looking at about uh, 15 and a half minutes for it, but honestly, super gorgeous mission too. Like I love being able to, uh, you know, kind of dive under the water, everything like that, driving past the freedom, the liberty, and seeing these guys damage like this. Like I said, at, at uh, the moment where I got to the back of the liberty, this was seriously a super cool moment just to be able to see the vessels like this. So seriously, Tomahawk, well done. There's gonna be more to come, so subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Comment, tell me what you enjoyed about this most. But thanks again for watching, you guys. War Cell, you don't have to worry, because Warfighters, I've got your six.